Good morning everyone. I hope you're all well on this uh, Sunday morning and I hope you're ready for our second Sunday School video. Uh, so last week we heard about how Paul and Barnabas went to Cyprus, didn't we? And we heard about that man, uh, the sorcerer Elimas, uh, who was blinded uh, uh, because he was going against uh, what Paul was saying. Now this week we're going to follow Paul and Barnabas uh, more now on their journeys uh, and if you have your sheet uh, that you can do in front of you or, or you can do it after uh, you've watched this video. So Paul and Barnabas, here we go, so we've got Paul and Barnabas. Now Paul and Barnabas uh, left Cyprus and they travelled back to the mainland. They travelled to a place called Persia in Pamphylia. From Persia they went to somewhere called Poseidon Antioch. Okay, uh, so in Poseidon, uh, they went to a synagogue. They found a synagogue and they entered it. In the synagogue were lots of people. And when Paul and Barnabas went into the synagogue, Paul stood up in front of everyone and spoke to everyone. He preached. He spoke to everyone about God. And he said this. He told everyone about all the amazing things God has done for his people. He told them about all the stories in the Old Testament we might remember. He told them about God rescuing his people from Egypt about how he looked after them in the wilderness, about how he rescued them from all those nations who wanted to attack them, uh, how he gave them judges and kings to rescue them and rule over them, and how he gave them King David, who was an amazing king and a special king, because through David's line, God's rescuer was to come. And we know who that rescuer is, don't we? That rescuer is Jesus. So Paul showed how the whole of the Old Testament points to Jesus, God's son. And then Paul went on to talk about how Jesus was sent to earth, came to earth to rescue us, uh, to rescue people from something we all have a problem with. What's our heart problem? Someone shout it out. Shout out if you know it. What's our heart problem? It begins with a s. Sin came to rescue us from sin. Paul talks about how Jesus died on the cross uh, and was buried and was raised again to rescue us uh, from sin so that we can be forgiven. Now, when Paul had spoke uh, to all these people, there were lots of different reactions. Okay, now, some of the people were interested in what Paul was saying uh, and they were intrigued and, and so they started to follow him uh, and, and listen to what more he had to say. But some others, okay, some other people were really not happy with what um, Paul was saying. They were really angry at what Paul was saying. Uh, and um, they wanted to get rid of him. So they started uh, saying lies about him. They started shouting at him uh, and telling bad things to him and about him to the people. And they were really not very nice to him. Okay. Um, and Paul said to these people, he said, you Jews, because these were Jewish people. Okay. God's chosen part, God's chosen people. He said to them, you aren't going to believe in me. You will not believe. So I will go somewhere else and tell other people about Jesus. I will go to the Gentiles. Now, Gentiles are people who are not Jewish, who were not born into those people who were God's chosen people, into the Jews. He went to the Gentiles because it said he said in God's in God's word in the Bible it says uh, he makes his people a light for the Gentiles so that 
his saving message that can go all across the world. So because the Jews weren't going to believe in him and weren't going to believe what Paul was saying about Jesus and weren't going to believe in Jesus, he said, no, I'm not going to bother with you. Let's go somewhere else where people will believe. So they went somewhere else out of the out of the synagogue now there was a, a gentiles some gentiles listening and when they heard what paul said when they heard what paul said they were glad and they believed in what paul said to them they were so excited about god's word and they believed and amazingly God's word, God's good message, continued to spread, spread through all the country and spread everywhere. Even though um, the Jews came back and wanted to get him, get rid of him, out of the country, out of the place where they were. So Paul said, "Right, well, I'm going somewhere else now." So Paul didn't stop um, telling people about Jesus, did he? He didn't stop it. He continued to spread the word and tell other people who would listen. Even though Paul faced opposition, even though Paul faced people saying nasty, horrible things to him, he continued to tell people about Jesus, to tell anyone who would listen about Jesus. And people still came to believe in him. That's amazing, isn't it? To show that God's plan cannot be stopped. Okay, people still came. Uh, to know Jesus, to know God and believe in him, even though there were other people trying to stop him uh, and be mean to him. But that's amazing, isn't it? And we'll see more in Acts, okay, of how God uh, helped Paul uh, in, in times of trouble uh, and how uh, God's plan continued uh, to, to, to spread, God's good news continued to spread. Okay, fantastic. Well, I hope you listened uh, well to that uh, and uh, let me pray for us and then uh, you can get on with the rest of your Sunday. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for our story today of how Paul was so faithful to you in telling these people about you. We thank you that even though he uh, people shouted at him and told him he was wrong, it didn't stop him from telling others about Jesus. Help us to have the same faith as Paul. Help us to trust you as much as Paul did. Amen. Fantastic. Have a really good Sunday, everyone. And I'll see you next week. Bye.